Hello everyone, I hope that everyone is very well. Here I'm Suraj and in this video, I'll be discussing you how we can use uh, paired simple t-test by using the SPSS, okay? So please keep watching this video till the end. You will definitely learn how, how we can use paired simple t-test by using the SPSS, okay? So uh, in, the, in the last video, I have discussed how we can use uh, a one simple t-test by using SPSS. So if you have not gone through this video, you can watch this video. I will share the link in the description box, okay? So before going to the SPSS, I just, uh, I would like to tell you a very brief about uh, paired simple t-test. What are the various types of the, the various names of the paired simple t-test and when we, we should use paired simple t-test, okay? Paired t-test, okay? So the, see, here the difference name of the paired simple t-test is the dependent t-test someone call that uh, some some someone may call it dependent t-test and some may call correlative t-test and some may call repeated measure t-test so all are same okay so these are the various names of the pair samples t-test but the question is when we should use pair sample t-test okay so in the last video i have discussed about one sample t-test so in the one sample t-test i have said that when we are comparing the two different means of the two different groups okay so if uh, i want to compare the uh, means of my respondents with the means of the known means of the populations then uh, we should have to use one sample t-test okay there uh, there should be two different groups groups and we should have to compare the two different means one should be known means okay so if we compare the means of the means of the respondents with the means of the total populations then we can we should use one sample t-test but here in the paired sample t-test there there must be one groups okay so if we if we are comparing the two different uh, means of the Okay, if we are comparing the two, di two different means of the different observation of the same groups, okay, then we should use the pair sample t-test, okay. So, you say, suppose if we are comparing the means of the data from two related samples of the same groups, okay, two different observations, means of the two different observations, uh, then we can use the uh, pair sample t-test. Or if, if we compare the means of the data from two related samples, observations before and after, uh, and interventions on the same participant, okay? So then we can use, or we can call that pre-test and post-test, okay? Or before and after test. So there must be an intervention of some things, okay? So if I if I tell you uh, an example, like the effect of the morning walk on blood pressure, blood pressure of my respondents. So what we'll do, we'll test the blood pressure before morning walk, okay? And we'll test the blood pressure after morning walk. Then we'll compare that the uh, difference of the before morning walk and after intervention of the a morning work on the blood pressure okay so say suppose another example marks for a group of students before and after inter teaching intervention okay so if we uh, if we calculate if we uh, see that the score of the students before intervention of a teaching procedure and the score of the students after in intervention of a teaching procedure so there might there might be difference uh, score should be, might be different okay so through this paired sample t-test, we can measure this, how much it is different from uh, two, you know, two observations, okay? And whether there is a significant difference or not, okay? So by using the uh, paired t-test, we can measure that, okay? So uh, in this video, I will uh, discuss about, this is a data set on my, um, the data set that I have prepared, okay? So I will use the data set in the uh, SPSS, okay. So here the question is the marks of a group of students before and after teaching intervention. So you can see that the students, uh, 20 respondents uh, have been taken and the before marks and after marks. That means after teaching intervention, before intervention of the teaching, what is the marks of the students and after intervention of this teaching, what is the uh, marks of the students. So suppose uh, uh, some 20 students, uh, you know, appeared an exam before intervention of a teaching procedure and they scored this marks 18, 20, 21, 16, 22, 19, 24, 17, 21, 23, 18, 14, 16, then 16, 19, 18, 20, 12, then 22, 15, 17. And after this exam, there was a, you know, coaching, six months of coaching. They have taken a uh, coaching for the six months. Okay. So, and after six months, they've again appeared for the same examination and they've seen that there has a difference. Okay, so how much it is different from the, uh, before, uh, from these two observation, then we can, uh, we can, you know, determine by using, we can measure by using uh, paired sample data. So I will use this data set. Okay, uh, so let's go to the SPSS. Then we can, I will, I'll tell you how we can analyze this data set by using the SPSS. Okay, so let's go to the SPSS. In the SPSS, you have seen that I have already 
put the data okay so you can uh, if you want to put data in your spaces you can pause the video then you can you know put that put the data in your spaces so you can see that this is this is the respondents from 1 to 12 and this is here the uh, value of the uh, you know pre pre test before marks okay before before intervention of the uh, marks of the before intervention of the teaching and this is marks of the after intervention of the teaching and here i have mentioned the difference before and after difference okay so now you can uh, you, you can put the value in the data data view then go to the variable view we'll give the name of the variables okay see first one is that id student id i have given the id from 1 to uh, 20 this is id okay you can write identity also don't need to write if you don't want to write you okay it's okay then pre this is the marks of the pre-test okay you can write pre you can write post and you can write difference i have written differ you can write here the full name and on the level box okay marks of the mar marks of the pre-test then you can write marks of the post test okay marks of the post test and difference of retest and post test okay now go to the measure c our respondent should be respondents are always in no, uh, nominal scale okay respondent should be nominal scale and since the marks are in the continuous so we'll use the scale value in the ratio scale scale value is so we'll put the scale click on the scale click on the scale now for the analyzing we'll have to go to the you know analyze just go to the analyze go to the compare means go to the paired sample t-test click on the paired sample t-test uh, this dialog box will arrive okay this dialog box will arrive now what we'll have to do you can see that there there, there are two variables like pre test and post test variable are two okay so variable one and variable o and uh, we have only one pair so we'll compare this you know marks of the pre-test to the marks of the post test okay so you can uh, give the marks of the post post test in variable one you can also give the mark of the pre-test in variable one and then give the give the marks of the pre-test on the variable two okay so click on the option you can see that by default uh, the confidence interval percentage is 95 percent so if you want to change the confidence interval percentage you can change change it manually i'll not uh, change that because most of the scientists most of the researcher use this uh, confidence interval percentage okay so our significance level will be five percent if the country confidence interval is uh, 95 percent then significance level will be five percent okay and if the if you take the confidence interval percent is 99 percent then there will be significance interval will be one percent okay so i'll not i'll not change this confidence interval percentage okay so click the continue button then click on the ok button so this is the output you can see that output has come so you can see this is the descriptive statistics this is uh, inferential statistics in the in the descriptive statistics box you can see that mean of the post test and mean of the pretest and the number of the observation you can see the standard deviation and standard error of the mean and by look by looking at this box this is inferential statistics we can indicate we can measure that whether the you know uh, post test pretest has a significant difference with the post test from the post test or not or post test has a significant difference uh, from the pretest or not so in such case we can develop a hypothesis whether there is a significant difference or not whether uh, and an alternative hypothesis there has a significant difference uh, of the pretest from the post test okay so we can measure the significant difference by using the three ways okay so there are the three ways that we can determine whether the mean is significantly different or not mean of the pre-test is significantly different from the mean of the post-test or not okay so by looking at the t value by looking at the uh, p value this is the p value this is t value you can see the t value and by looking at the 95 percent confidence interval of the difference so by by looking at these three ways we can determine that we can indicate that whether there has a significant difference of the two means or not okay so in the first uh, looking at the t value so we'll have to go to the 
T crit uh, T table critical T table. So here our calculated T value is three point two three one. Okay. So if for uh, our calculated T value is three point two three one. So if you go to the critical T table, so here you can see that this is the critical T table. Okay. So we'll see that at, at the where we'll see the uh, degree of freedom. We'll see the degree of freedom. See. Our degree of freedom is here. The degree of freedom is 90. So in this table, there is no degree of freedom up to 15 is given. So I will see another t table, t table value. Okay, critical 90. So here you can see the table of the critical t value. So here our degree of freedom is 19. Okay, so we have taken 95% confidence interval. So our uh, significance level will be 5%. That means 0 0.05. So at the 19 degree of freedom, we will see the critical T value at 0 0.05 is 2.093, 2.093. So our critical T value is 2.093, but the calculated value is, our calculated value is 3.231. So which is greater than the uh, critical T value. Okay. So if the t value is larger than the critical value critical t value then we will reject the null hypothesis and we will accept the alternative hypothesis that means so we will have we'll we'll say that there have a significant uh, difference between the two means okay by looking at the uh, significance two tailed means p value we can also measure that whether there has a significant difference of the means of the first observation with the means of the second observation or not okay so uh, our p value is uh, 0 0.004 okay so uh, if uh, we know that if the p value is less than 0 0.05 okay then we'll re uh, we'll reject the null hypothesis so by looking at the p value also we can, we have seen that there have a significant uh, significance difference between the uh, two means okay and by looking at the 95% confidence interval of the differences we can also measure we can also indicate that whether there have a significant difference between the two means of the observation or not okay so how we can say that uh, there have a significant difference by looking at the 95 percent so 90 uh, confidence interval see 95 percent confidence level includes the zero if the 95 percent conf confidence interval includes zero then we can say that uh, there has a you know uh, there has no significant difference but here you can see that the both lower and upper value are in positive that means there is this interval does not include zero so we will reject the null hypothesis and we can say that there the there has a significant difference between the two means that means there has a significant uh, difference uh, of the means of the first observation from the first of the second observation okay So by looking at this uh, inferential uh, statistics box, what we can conclude that uh, we can conclude that there is a strong evidence. Okay, so by looking at the t value and by looking at the p value and the ninety five percent confidence interval of the differences, uh, we can conclude that there has a strong evidence that the teaching intervention improves the marks. So in this data set, it improves uh, marks on average. Uh, you can see that the two point. Okay. So you can see that the difference marks of the post-test mean value is 2.450 and the marks of the pre-test pre uh, was uh, 18.440. So the difference is it increased by two points. Okay, so here the main difference, you can see the main difference. Okay, so of course, uh, if we were to take the other, if we are, if we'll take uh, the other samples of the marks, uh, we could get the mean period differences. Okay, so if we, if uh, we are to do the experiment of the 100 times, it means the uh, true value for the differences so would uh, you know lie in the 95 percent confidence uh, interval okay uh, in our case 95 percent is from 0 0.722 uh, uh, and up to 3.377 so this confirms that the although the difference is um, difference means that there has a statistical significant difference but the uh, the actual difference is relatively small okay so there have a significant difference but the difference is small okay so this is about the paired sample t-test. I hope that you have understood. Thank you so much.